Welcome back everybody. If you're new to the channel, my name is T. And if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe. So as you read on the title, I'm going to discuss about my first 90 days, you know, having my own authority in a hotshot trucking. And if you've been hotshotting for a year, two years, or if you if you've been around for a while or you've run your own company, you already have an idea of what I'm going to talk about. You already know, like, I guess the, the cons of, you know, your first 90 days. So you already have an idea of what I'm going to say. But uh, I'm not going to do a list of pros and cons because one of my cons might be a pro for you and a pro might be a con for you. <clears throat> it's going to be different. And, uh, you know, I didn't lease on to a company. You know, I went straight into getting my authority right off the bat. But, you know, with quick uh, background, uh, I've been in transportation for 16, 17 years. You know, I graduated high school, went to the military, and I was in transportation. And even when I got out in my civilian job, I was still in transportation. So when it came to, like, you know, DOT rules and laws and EODs and, you know, how to strap and chain equipment on a trailer or what can you put on a trailer and all that combination stuff, you know, I have an idea because I've been doing it for 16, 17 years. So that's why I went into, you know, getting my authority because, like, you know, I've been doing it for a while. The only thing that I, I didn't do or, you know, was being the actual boss, you know, being, like, the one in charge, the CEO of the actual company. And, um, like I said, you know, I, I've dispatched, you know, I've done invoices, I've done a little bit of, of everything. So for me, getting my own authority... I wouldn't say it was a no-brainer, but I already knew, you know, what to expect or how to go about some stuff. And, um, but yeah. So, I wouldn't say a con. I think this is something that everybody that, when you get your own authority, it's something that you will come across. And it's when, uh, whenever you're trying to get a load off the low board, all these brokers are going to tell you no a lot, but, but, it, but, but it's okay though. Just, you know, you keep on calling, keep on calling, keep on calling. Eventually someone will, will work with you, but if not, you know, that's going to be one of the big things. I think when you get, when you get your own authority at first, is a lot of these brokers, shippers will not work with you because they, because someone, you know, six months to a year and, uh, for me, that's one of the, really the things that I guess you, that you can call a con was that I got a lot of brokers, shippers, you know, saying, no, I need six months or a year, but it's okay. You know, I keep, I kept on calling and calling and calling. And eventually, you know, I acquired some shippers, you know, cause I went out there and talked to, talked to some of these companies and, you know, like I said in my other videos before, you know, you gotta go out there and sell yourself, you know, you gotta be a salesman and you gotta, you gotta Tell them why they should work with you and, and so on. But that's one of the main main things that I came across my first 90 days was a lot of these loads. I wasn't getting them because the broker and the shipper didn't want to work with me because I was 30 days, 60 days, and so on. And uh, like I said, you know, if you lease on, it might be a little bit different because they should or might have already, you know, contacts, shippers already, you know, lined up. So getting you, getting you loaded work, you know, work shouldn't be that bad. But when you're running your own authority, it's, be, it's different. And it can be difficult because now you're just, you know, you're doing everything yourself from all the admin stuff back, at, back in the office, the invoices, getting your own you know, booking your own freight, you know, and just, but for me, that was, that, that was the easy part because like I said, I've been doing it for 16, 17 years. You know, that was, that was easy for me. Cause I've done, I've done almost everything from dispatching to invoices. So all that came was, all that was pretty, pretty easy for me. And, uh, as far as like the, the money goes for being, new 
I won't tell you the exact or I won't tell you the amount of dollars, but I'll say it is very, very good. Or I did pretty good. But yet again, like I said, I have a little upper hand on some stuff, so maybe that helps out. But um yeah, I mean I wouldn't say it was rough. I, for me, it's been going smooth so far. But yet again, that, I, that's me because I got 16, 17 years in transportation. So I know how to do some stuff or I know how to negotiate and talk to some of these people. But um, if you leave Sonic, it's, it's, no, it's no big deal. But like I said, you know, I've, done, I've been doing this for, for a while. So I just figured, hey, you know what? I'm going to be my own boss, you know, and get my own authority. And the reason was because, you know, with having your own authority, you know, you can pretty much do what you want to do. But, you know, if you slack off a lot and don't don't go out there and go work, then you ain't going to make no money. But for me, it was pretty much, you know, being being the boss, doing whatever I want to do, you know, do my scheduling, you know, pick, deciding what loads I want to take and so on. You know, just just not reporting to anybody. I mean... I guess other than the brokers and shippers, but I mean, that's, 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 that's obvious, but as far as like working for somebody else, you know, reporting to another manager, like, no, I'm the boss now. Like I, I decide what goes, you know, but, um, for me, my first 90 days, that was the only, I guess, con again, like I, I, you can, I guess say was a lot of brokers and shippers would not work with you, but keep on calling keep on calling some somebody will eventually bite and you go out there talk to these companies and shippers and you might have direct contacts i acquired five but i had to go out there and sell myself though but for me it's, it's going good i see a lot of good things in the next uh next year so hopefully this uh video wasn't too plain and boring and tedious because this is you know my experience you know with my own authority everybody else might be different might be more difficult might be more easier dramatic but for me it's going smooth so far you know like i i post some videos some shorts you know hey i'm i'm working man i'm i'm hauling loads i'm doing good i'm i'm fine i, I think i said yeah in another video uh i got a I got some stuff in the works when it comes to uh, to to CDL, but that'll be you'll see that whenever that happens. But again, you know, everybody's gonna be different. I made this video sound so easy, like oh, okay, that's it. But for others, it might be very difficult. Like I said, you know, I got 16, 17 years in transportation, so I know a thing or two. And, you know, I didn't just jump into hot shot just willy nilly like I. Had experience from my military career, my civilian career. I done research, so that's why for me it came pretty, pretty natural and pretty easy. Cause like I, I done my research. I've been doing this transportation thing for a while, and it was something that I just got into overnight. But uh, but yeah. So hopefully this video wasn't too. Uh, too simple, too boring, or hopefully y'all weren't expecting some cool information because, like I say, I'm not going to tell y'all the dollar amounts that I that I make. That's between me and the shipper, me and the broker, and so on. Because I'm not going to say, oh, I do 6000 a week, and then y'all go out there, and it's like, and you're making 600 It's like, hey, man, this this guy, this YouTuber over here, talking about 6000 a week, and I'm not even breaking two. Like, I'm not going to give you that illusion to like, oh, yeah, okay. He could do it. I can too, but everybody's different. Some have experiences or more. Some others have more experience than others. So my 16 years, 17 years might be what helps me get, you know, high paying loads and, and so on. But, uh, but yeah, if you get anything from this long born video, it's that when you're new and you have your own authority, a lot of broker and shippers will probably not work with you because they want six months, two years of experience. But 
don't let that discourage you because it was like probably my fourth day with my own authority. I was already getting loads. So, yeah, th there are some YouTubers out there that, you know, do give some correct information. Others, like, oh, they want to hear. I mean, depends who the company is. Yeah, they do want to hear. But also, depending on other companies, they might be like, yeah, sure. Might be four days and they give the load. But um, everybody's different. This is my experience, you know, from my hotshot company. This is this is my experience. This is this is me. It's not what others are doing or you know, this is this is me. My personal experience. This is this is my this is me. And uh I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, man. I'm not gonna give you all this crazy crazy videos like, oh yeah, I'm doing ten thousand a week. No. Is it possible? Uh yeah. It, I guess it's possible because like these loads that I won't get into much, too much um, drama but yes there is some good paying loads out there because like I do see the loads that these other people so called are pulling too so it's like okay yeah you can make 10000 a week but like I said I'm not going to hear I'm not going to be here just to talk smack about other hotshot youtubers but okay yeah but yeah um yeah man so uh it's going good so far i'll put it that way i'm, I'm loving it I, I got some new works new plans you know coming up but yeah so if, if, if anything your first 90 days 30 days 60 days the one thing that, if anything, it will be that brokers and shippers won't work with you because you're new. When it comes to insurance and equipment, that's on that's on you. It's, it's how you go about it. Again, research, 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 man. But, uh, all right, man. Just, uh, enough of my rambling. Hopefully, I didn't bore you, bore you to death. And, uh. To the next video, guys.